What is up friends YouTube and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you my overall experience using this device as my daily driver, as well as my top three reasons as to why you should consider this as your next smartphone if you're tight on a budget or simply is just looking for a decent smartphone for their coming holidays. So let's do this. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the display. The display on the Narzo 50i is a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display. This actually fits the bill in terms of what is considered standard in 2020 to 2021. This basically means you're not missing out on screen real estate, allowing you to see more content without spending way past your budget. In terms of resolution, it has a 720 by 1600 resolution, which basically translates to a 720p screen with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and a pixel density of 270 ppi. In a general sense, the screen of the Narzo 50i in terms of overall quality, you're getting a good amount of screen with punchy colors and even with a 720p screen, the element scene looks very crisp making this one of the best LCD screens you can get for the price range. I mean, sure, some would even want a higher resolution, but that would surely bump up the price. But even then, the screen is still one of the major selling points of this device, in my honest opinion. In terms of photography, the Narzo 50i comes with a single 8 megapixel lens and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. This is probably one of those elements that most consumers would overlook because of what is considered common for most is by having a triple camera configuration or a quad camera configuration. However, based on my testing, the Narzo 50i can actually produce great photos. And if you happen to know how to use applications like VSEO or Snapseed, pictures taken with the Narzo 50i can actually turn out great and very professional. In terms of video recording, this is probably where there was a bit of a struggle since the device didn't come with OIS or EIS. However, if stationary, the Narzo 50i can still give you a decent video recording experience. In terms of gaming, the Narzo 50i comes with an acceptable performance considering the price point and all. And I was actually surprised considering I was able to play games like Call of Duty Mobile. Of course the graphics won't be like a flagship counterpart where you can max out everything, but with a decent amount of internet connectivity, you can still play games on the fly, which I think is the important part. Now because the Narzo 50i comes with a 5000 mAh battery and with a watered down specification, a 720p screen, the battery life is amazing. On a single charge, I was able to to leave the device idle and on standby for a few days and still had enough power to go through one to two days. Charging the device can take about a little over an hour, but the overall battery performance is great. This basically means the level of optimization for Realme Go goes at par with Android Go. Now speaking of Android Go, let's now talk about the OS. The Narzo 50i comes with Realme Go, which is basically Realme's take on Android Go. Now Android Go is a light UI for Google's OS found on a Pixel device and because it is well optimized for entry level devices, the overall performance is smooth. Normally smartphones at this price point can become slow over time, but because this is running Google's lighter OS, I can honestly say this can last a lot longer as opposed to the competition. Even transitioning from the main screen to the app drawer, opening apps and closing, the animation is smooth. So in summary, the Realme Narzo 50i is priced at around 6,290 pesos, which in dollars is around just a little over $100. In my honest opinion, considering the cost of what you're paying for, you get three essential features that in my opinion are what I consider the core of any smartphone. A beautiful 6.5 inch screen, a 5000 mAh battery that can easily last 2-3 to three days on a single charge, and my personal favorite is the UI, which I think is the major selling point of the Narzo 50i. With a smartphone as budget friendly as this, packed with essential features that really matter to consumers, without a doubt this is my top pick for budget centric smartphones in 2021. Now if by any chance you're looking to get one for yourself, I'll be throwing some details in the description down below. And that's pretty much it for my full review of the Realme Narzo 50i. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or inquiries and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and unboxing videos. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point and I'll catch you in the next.